I started seeing things, not flashbacks, I mean literally seeing things. I was like, what is he staring at? And he told me that he sees black cats or something following him. Everybody thinks PTSD, the adrenaline going and the, you're fighting and you're sorting this out and you're flying around in helicopters, it's not... We were moving through villages and we had to dig holes to put the dead women and children in. We went to a flat and found a young woman and she tried to kill herself and she shot herself up through her here and the bullet came out there but she was still living. And it was something like that that gave me nightmares for months. One night I come downstairs checking on him and he was just sat in the middle of the floor with nothing on, no telling or nothing and he was just rocking and I just sat beside of him and he's rocking and crying and he didn't know who I was, he didn't know where he was, he was scared. I was, that was... I remember certain smells and I started really hearing high echo and your, your head starts banging and uh, you st the, the tremors overtake the whole body. Smells would set me off, diesel fumes. <laughs> high female screaming. You think, I'm losing my mind. It's like looking at a ghost of somebody that used to be there. Yeah, when he was away working, it was actually better than when he was here because he might as well have not been here. People didn't want to be around me. That's, that's the only way to put it. I suppose walking around the house kind of as aggressive as I was coming across at the time, I think Jamie might have been scared of me. I was a bit frightened sometimes because he'd be like really angry and snappy and vicious. It all just went. And it was just basically like having a shadow here. Your money pays for projects that offer war veterans like Peter a safe haven and somewhere to start rebuilding their lives. I believe combat stress put me on a platform to get me back on my feet and basically given me, the, I would say, give me a bit of pride back for something for me to work on. But at the end of the day, if he starts getting ill again, we know where to go now. It's one phone call and he's sorted. Peter isn't alone. Two in ten veterans who fought in Iraq and Afghanistan now suffer from mental health problems.